the 18th Sunday after Pentecost, Year B, from the Gospel according to Mark. Everyone will be salted with fire. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week are full of accounts of God hearing and recognizing us whenever we cry for help. Indeed, God sees and knows us even before we wander into danger. Esther makes her plea to the king on the grounds that the annihilation of her people would do incommensurable damage to the king to whom they are subject. The rejoicing to which Esther's uncle Mordecai enjoins the people could very well have included the words of our psalm, if the Lord had not been on our side, then they would have swallowed us up alive in their fierce anger toward us. When Jesus says to his disciples that all will be salted with fire, he alludes to the fact that salt sparks but does not burn when thrown into a fire. Likewise, the trials and tribulations into which we have been thrown will not destroy us. Instead, they will activate God's covenant with us in a way that both restores our saltiness and contributes light to the world. If, therefore, as Jesus tells us, everyone is salted with fire, then even the one who sacrifices as little as a cup of water to drink will receive a reward. And the one who willingly sacrifices a hand or a foot or an eye to avoid stumbling here on earth be restored to true saltiness. As we hear in the epistle of James, the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise them up, and anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven. If the merely human prayer offered to God by the righteous is so powerful and effective on others' behalf, how much more effective is the will of God himself to preserve and restore his people? Let us therefore pray and act boldly, confident that God is always at work. God sees us, knows us, saves us, whether we cry out to him or grope our way forward with what may seem like inconsequential efforts for righteousness sake. In all of these, we are salted with fire, a holy and living sacrifice to our God. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.